important to cut it with the scissors because the nutrients can't get to the rest of the leaves. It'll still feed this one that you have cut. So you always want to pull from the bottom. So if there's brown leaves all down here, you want to pull all that first until you can get a nice leaf like this that is not brown. And you want to leave at least four or five leaves on, on the stalk to grow. So always pull down your leaf and not cut it. Go. Okay. So after you picked about 45 to 65 leaves, and depending on how big your child is, you want to clean it so you get a wet rag. You're going to wipe the top and the back and in between this stem area. Okay? So you're going to wipe all of your leaves. After that is done, you're going to debone. I use my teeth. I crack it right there. And I use a table to debone it. Okay. You don't want this area to split like here. Okay, so you need at least two inches that are not split. Right? So all your leaves need to be deboned like that. If you don't know how to use your teeth, you can use a knife or scissors to make a slit right there. See how it doesn't have a crack? So you need to debone all your leaves just like that. After that, you're going to get a string. It can be any color because this won't show. Okay, so you want to tie it to two ends. This is going to be my workstation. Okay. Just like that. I'm going to get coffee string. Arms length and double it. And cut. Okay, now on the folded side, you can see that where it folds in half. I'm gonna leave enough. I am not right there and leave enough because this part I'm going to use to tie in the back to tie their skirt on. So about, what's that, eight inches about? Make sure you tie that knot right there. Okay, so, you get your leaves, you're going to need a clothespin, about two. Okay, you're going to fold this over about an inch and a half. That goes over. Use the clothespin to hold. Now you're going to start with that knot. The knot's going to be on the left side. Just like that. So this is my knot. Okay. And you're going to tie it one time. Sure the knot is on the side. Tie it once, tight. Now your next one, same thing, same length. You're gonna fold it over half, you're gonna cover half of the other leaf. Okay, you're gonna clip it. Now your back string, make sure you tighten that first one first before bringing it around the front and the back and your next tie just one okay and that's it you just continue doing that halfway clip it just to hold it in place 
tighten the back. Now come around and tighten. Okay, see how it gets loose as you let it go. That's why after doing your next leaf, you want to make sure it's tight before you bring it around. So you do this all the way until you have enough to go around your child's waist. Okay, so I'm like at my last leaf now. So this is the size of her waist. Put my last one on. And then I do the one knot and tie it in a knot. And it's done. Okay, so this is what we're gonna use to tie. So you can take it off. Okay, so our skirt is done. Now what we want to do is slip it to the back and we're going to cut all these off, but not completely off. Like leave about an inch from where the string is and just cut it all the same length. Straight across. Measure from the waist to right above the knee. And hers is just about here. So I'm gonna cut it straight across. And I just roughly measure from the waist to right above the knee because I'm gonna strip it and then put it back on the child and have them stand so you can cut right around. Because obviously the back part of their skirt is going to be longer than the front. So you need it on them while you trim. So this is just a rough estimate. So if you want to make it like an inch longer than what it would normally be, that's a good idea. Just so that you're not stripping all of this extra part. That's just more work for you. So cut this all off, and then now we're ready to strip. So stripping, uh, I don't really know the exact measurement. What does that look like? Uh, half an inch maybe? One third of an inch or half an inch strips, and you're going to strip it. Maybe one third of an inch. Both sides and the whole skirt. Okay, so the skirt goes on to their waist. That's our baby so this is your top string that you're going to tie. That's the one, it could be any color. And this is your bottom string. The coffee string. I like this one too. Okay. So that's how you would tie it, in two bowls. And make sure the strings are tucked in. <laughs> like that. Okay, so that sits on your waist. And you just wanna go and make sure you cut it so it's right above the knee. Right there, yeah? So you can just go around and just make sure you trim it all nicely. So it's all even. Right above the knee. Now to store it, 
and take it off. I hate my panties. <laughs> so you're gonna get like a old towel. The oldest towel you can find in a cabinet. You're gonna wet it, wring it out so this is wet. So wet it, make sure you bring all the excess water out. Okay, lay it flat. You put your TV skirt right on top. Okay. Fold the top over. Fold the bottom over. Fold the sides in. And then roll. trash bag, the small kitchen bags. Put that in. And roll. And that's it. You want to store this in the refrigerator. Don't store it in the back of the refrigerator because it'll freeze your tea leaf and it'll make it all rotten. So make sure it's like in the middle or the front of the refrigerator. And that's it. Your skirt is done.